Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today is going to be I'm going to be talking about text kerning and line spacing with the Shape Tool versus the Text Property Docker. So there's more than two two ways to do this at least. The Shape Tool you would just select on your text, go to your Shaping Tool, and you get these two uh, different type of arrows, and you can move them up and down. Now keep in mind when you have just one line, this arrow doesn't do anything. Then you can grab this arrow and put them, space them closer together. That's probably not used too much unless you were going to try to get these things to touch and then move them around a little bit to weld them together to um, have something, uh, you know, just weld them together and cut them all out. Now the shape tool does have the advantage you could lasso all four so each letter has its own own uh, little marker there that you can turn to let's back up here and get it back where we were you could do the whole line the word line hold down your control button so you'll go on a straight line that way you can't go up and down you can only go left and right and if you just wanted to move that line over or if, or if you're trying to get the letters close together and then you want these lines moved away so they won't be touching the other you know ones so let's back up here so that's a shape tool I use it a lot I love I love the shape tool now let's uh, now let's use the text property so go up to text click on it go to text properties and right down here underneath paragraph and if you don't see it if you don't see anything it's because you need to hit these downward arrows and it says right here a b it'll even think i think it even comes up but it's the spacing so you could increase or decrease the spacing between the, the numbers or the letters or the text and what i kind of like about this sometimes you could go a click at a time and just do like one percent so you're a little more you know you can sit there and actually watch it and then you can do the same thing with the spacing between the letters, you know, 1% at a time when you're trying to get it really dialed in. In lieu of going to the, this tool and, you know, moving it with your mouse and kind of jumping around. So that's the text property bar docker, and it's under text property. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.